Welcome to another Mentoring Moment with Dr. Mo. I'm Dr. Mo, and in this Mentoring Moment, we will elevate and enhance your tapping practice by taking a deep dive into how to choose a title for either silent movie or tell the story. So let's dive right in by asking ourselves, what purpose does the title fulfill? So tapping on a title acts as a way to take the edge off. And in a way, it's a, it allows you to ease in, to prime the client's unconscious, and get some of that outer layer of intensity. It's just a way of kind of easing in. It should also act as a gentle reminder of what happened but it's not intense enough to pull the client into the trauma pool and perpetuate excessive intensity. So you kind of want to aim the aim for the title to be a little teaser, a whisper of intensity, but nothing too big that will create excessive intensity for the client because remember, you're still using the title in gentle techniques. And when you use gentle techniques, it's because you want to create this, um, this sense of safety for your client. And so you just want to go a little slow and the title helps you ease in and go at a slower pace for your client and um, what they're processing. So when you choose a title, it should, you should aim to have a standout feature of the thing that happened to your client, of the thing that you both are processing together, so that anchors your client to just that one time. But it's general enough where it doesn't tune the client fully into something and you go zero to 100 and it's way too intense. So there is this balance that must be achieved between being general but also being specific and anchoring at the same time. So in the same vein, sometimes when you're, when you're thinking of titles uh, with your client and guiding them to choose a title for this specific experience, they could offer titles that are quite large. They, they can possibly represent tabletop issues, core issues that are themes in their life rather than specific one-time experiences. So as you can see here, uh, a client might say, I want to name this abandonment. I want to title this betrayal. I want to tar uh, excuse me, I want to title this movie Sorrow. But do you notice how these titles they could balloon out pretty quickly because they do seem to be related to larger issues that the client might have experienced in their life. And so as they repeat it, uh, in the in the tapping rounds, they could then be tuned into all the other times that they experienced abandonment, all the other times that they were betrayed, and so on. So that's why there's kind of this balancing act that must be achieved with being being general, so that you just get you know that outer layer of intensity, nothing too crazy, but you're also specific enough where your client and their and their unconscious, their subconscious knows that hey, we are tapping on this experience not all the other times. So let's see how we could refine these general issues, these that are being used as titles, and how you can help your client when they, when they come up with these titles um, to be something that is a bit more informative and specific, but still gentle. So abandonment, we could say abandonment in the parking lot, right? In this case, you can, you can ask your client, to give you some details in terms of like the day of the week something happened or what the client was wearing or the city in which this thing happened in, the street in which it happened in, the room in which it happened in. So geography, location is very anchoring to experiences and it can be used to anchor your, anchor your client to one-time experience. So in this case, abandonment in the parking lot is much more specific than abandonment in general. 
So you can ask your client for a bit to, to get a bit more specific about where that experience happened, who was there, you know, what, um, any specific feature that stands out to them, like I mentioned, th- what they were wearing, um, where they were, what somebody else was doing, etc. So let's take another example. Betrayal, that's a larger, larger topic. Betrayed in the fifth grade classroom. So once again, we're being anchored by location. And that tunes us in to just that one time in the classroom. And lastly, sorrow. Sorrow from the college librarian. So it's that one time that they experienced this sensation of sorrow and they were with the college librarian. So those those, um, W's, you know, who, what, when, that can be very helpful in providing gentle anchorage to your client when picking a title. Now, um, there's nothing wrong with using the general things, uh, those general words, abandonment, betrayal, sorrow. You can see where that takes you um, and see how your client responds to that. Some clients may are better at just remembering that they're tapping on that one experience, even if the title is quite general. But, you know, EFT is very forgiving. So if you find that that title is maybe too intense, maybe it's too general, you can always backtrack. You can always um, center and ground your client and regroup and say, you know, I think maybe that title might be too uh, intense. Let's make it a little less... um, vivid, a little less specific, or on the contrary, you can say, let's make it a little more specific here, uh, because I'm worried that maybe we're tuning into this, this pattern or this theme in your life. Okay. So just in summary, you want the title to act as kind of a GPS for a certain location. So you want the title to lead you so that you are circling around a a house or a certain location. And then you use the the movie technique or tell the story to get a bit more specific, right? And you you start going into the rooms of that house or of that building and um, which represent the peaks or moments of intensity or aspects, right? So you just want the title to get you in that specific location and then you can use your other techniques to get a little bit more specific. But you want the title to be grounding enough where you're landing on that specific uh, point in the client's psyche where you want to make a difference in, okay? So think that's it for this video. Um, If you would like more mentoring, you can visit my Patreon or my website for more details. But I really hope you have enjoyed this Mentor Moment with Dr. Mo. I'm Dr. Mo, and we will talk and tap soon.